No, I didn't see myself traveling around the world or yeah, even get into New York when I was a kid. Yeah, right now, I'm a gypsy pretty much. I haven't been home in like a month. I guess I was in a relationship for like six years or something like that. So I was like trying to juggle home and the travel kind of surfing, which is pretty fucking hard, you know what I mean? And once you don't have to think about that other side and be selfish, I feel like you get better then. When you do have an anchor back at home, something that just keeps you at home, whether it be a girlfriend or a dog or a family member that like needs you or whatever, yeah, you you would feel pretty selfish if you're on the road, as much as I am right now. And uh, yeah, ever since I didn't have that, yeah, it's been like a full send. The time we grew up in was right on the ocean, and my dad surfed, and a bunch of his mates surfed. So you know what I mean? We were just forever around the ocean. So. My family was super supportive. You get to that age where you're 18 or 19 and you should really have a, a focus on what you're gonna do work-wise. And I kinda was kinda definitely 70 to 30 work, which isn't a good mindset when you're at that age, you know what I mean? They want you to go work and get a career under your belt. But they were supportive enough to let me, you know, hang on to the dream for like another year and that's when it all kinda happened. So yeah, I was too, super thankful for that. I don't know, success for me is like being able to uh, do what you love and make a little bit of money from it to be able to live that success. You don't have to be filthy rich as long as you're having fun and doing what you, you, know, you like doing. I don't know, tattoos to me is like, I don't know, many people can say it's like you expressing yourself or something like that. But I don't know what it is, it's just, yeah, I like the artwork, I like the look. I've always liked the look of tattoos on people, you know what I mean? Not too sure, it's definitely not like an ego image thing for me, but uh, I definitely enjoy getting them and collecting them. I guess it's like a yeah, collecting thing. Yeah, my whole collection of uh, old things is like just the fact that they've been around for many moons, you know what I mean? Like the oldest car that I own is like an 85 Suzuki uh, Jimny from Japan. And that thing's modern to me, you know, it's got power steering and disc brakes and whatnot. And then the oldest thing I own is a 54 Panhead, you know? And a couple of 60s uh, Chevys, so it's like just to be able to keep those things alive and like in good nick and going for the next 50 or 100 years. That, I don't know, that kind of really means something to me. Yeah, yeah, there's something about surfing. Even if it's like one foot and on shore and shitty, it's just good to get out there and yeah, be uh, disconnected from your phone, technology, everything. It's like one of the only sports where you can kind of do that, so it's cool. I'm at that age now where it's like, for sure I've got to like another five years of like being real hyped. I'm not burnt out yet. I just keep doing what I'm doing now. Hopefully it doesn't get boring for other people, but I'm still hyped.